Um, let me see here. 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 Let me see. You here. stop bum. You stop bum. I beg your pardon. Ew, no. I can't watch that. Okay. What is this? Chad, what's a good video? Can someone send me a good video? Wait, wait this one looks interesting. August twenty eighth, right back, nineteen ninety. The sky grows dark over the small town of Plainfield, Illinois, while thousands of residents carry on with their daily activities, completely unaware that just to their northwest, one of the worst tornadoes in U.S. history is racing directly towards them. It's a hot and humid summer afternoon in northern Illinois, and severe thunderstorms are beginning to build along the horizon. However, to understand why this is happening, we need to turn back the clock 24 hours. It's August 27th, and the ingredients for a potent severe weather day are beginning to fall into place over the Midwest. Meteorologists are scanning the atmosphere, looking for four key ingredients that lead to the formation of severe weather. These are moisture, instability, wind shear, and lift. Moisture is abundant in August across the Midwest, as rich tropical air makes its way north from the Gulf of Mexico, causing dew points to rise into the low 80s. This extremely moist air, along with high surface temperatures from the summer heat, are creating an extremely unstable air mass with the amount of convective available potential energy, or CAPE, rising to an unbelievable 8,000 joules per kilogram, over eight times what is needed for a thunderstorm to form. In addition to the explosive instability, a low pressure system and cold front are moving in from the northwest, bringing in a broad trough of fast moving winds in the mid levels of the atmosphere, which are spreading apart or diverging over an area of relatively calm and converging winds near the surface. This difference in wind speeds at different levels of the atmosphere is called wind shear and helps to both force air near the surface to start rising and organizes a thunderstorm by tilting it on its side and separating the storm's updraft yo. from- Yo, 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 George got his ego back up as soon as he beat us, I know, bro was down in the gutters because we were like non-stop beating him, I think, three games in a row. <laughs> okay, is this video good? It's downdraft. Or is it preventing ass? the storm from Little collapsing on, on itself and allowing it to this persist one for extended periods of time. With all four major ingredients for severe thunderstorms now in place, the National Severe Storms Forecast Center had enough confidence to- Oh shit. My guys, I live in this area. Had enough confidence to issue what a the moderate hell? risk for severe weather across northern Illinois for August 28th. However, there was- I remember the shit. Still one crucial piece of the puzzle missing. Although strong speed shear was present in the atmosphere, the winds near the surface were not turning significantly with height. This gradual turning of the wind direction as we ascend through the atmosphere is called directional shear, and it's an okay. important factor. Listen, man, I'm not with the science storms here, okay? Look, is this all about science? Chad, has this video been about science this entire time since I've been gone? Or is it like actually like some random, like actually some good shit? That causes a storm's updraft to begin rotating, a critical ingredient in the formation of tornadoes. With this important directional shear missing, the meteorologist at the storm's forecast- Okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Okay, never mind, never mind. ...center issued a severe thunderstorm watch at 1.30 p.m., anticipating a powerful line of severe storms to develop. However, I have a new because the atmosphere lacks significant low-level wind shear, they made no mention of the possibility of tornadoes. Oh, shit. Just before noon near the Illinois-Wisconsin border, the incredible potential energy of the atmosphere could no longer be held back, and a cluster of thunderstorms exploded like a bomb. This cluster of storms would slowly drift to the southeast, producing damaging straight-line winds and large hail before one of the storms mm, began no. to deviate from the others Wait, is this and in quickly Chicago? dominated the atmosphere around it. It's Let's around go right to Chicago, boys. Let's go right to Chi-Town, man. It's time, however, that something unexpected happens. The winds at the surface suddenly changed directions and began to blow to the northeast, increasing the low-level directional shear and transforming the dominant Wait, does that mean it's cell into a powerful or what? rotating thunderstorm called a supercell, greatly increasing the risk for tornadoes. Holy shit! The momentum was building fast as this supercell developed a rotating. Okay, wall what cloud. year was this, guys? I don't. I, I was lying. I don't remember this shit. Like, what year was this? This, this looks like it was shot off a camcorder. What is going As on? This supercell developed a rotating wall cloud and produced a few brief from the weak shower? tornadoes be weekly shower. between Rockford and Aurora, Illinois, around 1.42 p.m. An already bad situation became worse, however, as the storm began to wrap its rotating updraft, or mesocyclone, okay, in a thick give you VIP. curtain of heavy rain and hail called the Bear's Cage. 
hiding As long as you don't say anything TOS in chat, that's all I care, okay, Roy? You can keep the VIP, but as soon as you say something TOS, it's over, pal. I have to take it away. That's the only rule here, okay? That's the only rule here. Never tornadoes that may develop within, and at 315 Never do that's a lie. That's exactly That is such a lie. The newly formed Twister started out as a weak F-Zero, doing little more than damaging crops and open fields and periodically causing more concentrated damage as the subvortices dance within the parent circulation. It's now 3.23 p.m. in the National Weather Service office in Chicago, unaware of just how dangerous the situation is becoming, decide to issue a severe thunderstorm warning for the areas downstream of the supercell, but decide not to include any mention of the possibility of tornadoes. Too much information is going on right now. I have no idea. Can someone cl like, actually, man? Like, I, I don't know. With that decision, this is so interesting, but I wish I knew what it meant. Storm will have no warning of the invisible monster roaring towards them. Okay, I, I understand what he's saying now. That there's an invisible tornado that nobody can see, but it's destroying shit and it's heading right towards them. Got it. The tornado continues moving to the southeast, gradually. Why are you using this background image that's literally five pixels? Like we can even know what's going on. Like it, you might as well just hand draw the map, and it would be better than this shit. Holding its strength when something remarkable happens. The tornado's parent storm may have ingested a nearby or zoom out. boundary, that's good too. pulling in the spinning air that exists along the boundary and leading it directly to the tornado. Like spraying right, gasoline on a raging fire, the tornado exploded in intensity right oh, as it shit. began to close in on the subdivision of Wheatland Plains. Oh shit. The tornado would strike the small community at 3.25 p.m., displaying its terrifying power as it caused major damage hey. to dozens of homes and completely sweeping away 12 of them scattering Holy the shit. remains of the structures for long distances downstream. The tornado it's also the claimed its first life here, in addition to injuring dozens more. Rip However, Wheatland the tornado Plains. was far from finished with its Holy rampage. Holy shit! You can see where it, went. it just wiped right through there, brother. Mm, but I never, I, whenever I see tornadoes, I never realize that it tears up grass and shit, too. I, I, I don't know why it's never, like, connected to the dots there. That it's, like, you know, if it can destroy houses, it can probably destroy, like, the ground and shit. But I just, I never, I don't know. As the tornado crosses 135th Street, it begins to shrink in size, yet as the tornado w. shrinks, the winds inside the vortex strengthen at a frightening Never mind. pace, quickly become- Whoever this motherfucker is, it's over, buddy. I don't know if that's a house or that's a small community, a farm or some shit, but buddy, you're, it's over for you. It's and actually violent. over. And as the twister crosses West 143rd Street, it reaches its peak strength. GG. The winds inside the core of the tornado are now roaring at over 260 Holy miles shit. per hour. Easily placing the twister at the top of the Fujita scale, a rare F5. The now oh F5 no, is it going to Shy Town? Ripple the block. Vortex flatten hundreds of yards of crops and drill into the earth, causing intense Holy ground shit. scouring and tearing away several inches of the soil before exiting the field outside of the town at 3:28 p.m. Like a cloaked monster, the heavily rain-wrapped vortex crosses Route 30 in Illinois 126 picking up several cars in a 20-ton tractor trailer like toys before throwing them over what half the a mile fuck? away, killing their occupants upon impact. No! Weakening slightly to high-end F3 strength, the tornado then crashed into the Dude, it's just wiping out the lobby right now. This is insane. ...at a plane field, closing in on the town's high school, where several dozen no. students had just run inside the gymnasium. No fucking shot, bro. This is bad. Was this the recent tornado in Texas? Nah, this is this is one in Illinois like a while ago, but it's like an That's F5. Up, the crazy like What's fucked up? It is fucked up. The F5 tornado is supposed to hide, dude. It's like the crit, I don't know, it's like one of the worst tornadoes, I guess, that we've experienced in recent history. It's an F5. That's the worst one, apparently. Worst version? After seeing the eerie green storm clouds of the approaching storm. No, As bro. soon as the last student made it inside the school, the doors of the hallway they were sheltered in were ripped away with terrifying force as the roof collapsed around them. No. Remarkably, the hallway the students had sheltered bro in would be the only lovely. part of the building to survive the winds of the twister. Holy shit, these kids are... Tragically, so one of those kids have spider sense. Like literally, some of the, those kids have spidey sense. There's no way they knew to go in the hallway. There's just that's just insane. Two maintenance workers, an administrator, oh, and a teacher no. outside this hallway would be killed as the building collapsed around them. With Damn. brutal force, the core of the tornado yeah. then slammed into St. Mary's Immaculate Church, severely damaging the structure and killing three inside before Damn, mowing down dozens fuck? of homes and a grocery store with such ferocity that some were completely swept away with only their concrete foundations remaining. Trees here became so badly damaged that their bark was stripped off their trunks, and a video in this area revealed the winds became so intense that a steel dumpster was picked up and crushed beyond recognition. Jimmy, anybody ever experienced a tornado or no? Tree. The damage here Holy was shit. so violent that it earned a high-end F4 rating, and unfortunately, 
at least nine people would lose their lives here, with countless others severely injured. When was Holy this shit. again? There was a brief lapse in the tornado strength. I don't know, 1999, I think someone said. Before it once again intensified back to F4 strength and set its sights in the city of Joliet. The invisible vortex smashed into the crystal lawns and Warwick subdivisions with terrifying fury, lofting vehicles into the air and destroying countless homes at F4 intensity as it narrowly missed the Joliet Mall, claiming eight more lives. By 3:38 p.m., the tornado was now losing. It's literally steam how many kills has this thing gotten, bro? Slowly weakening, yet in a cruel final blow, the dying vortex strikes the community of Crest Hill, destroying no several apartment buildings and sucking eight people from their homes and hurling them into a nearby cornfield before striking a vehicle and killing two more. Holy the fuck. rapidly weakening twister would damage a few more homes downstream of the apartment complex before finally roping out and dissipating at 3.45 p.m., two miles east of downtown Joliet. By the time the tornado had lifted, Dude, the thing did 29 not stop, people buddy. had tragically lost their lives, with hundreds more sustaining How many? And the last day of school we had a tornado, I was in the sixth grade, and F2, I think, holy shit. Guys, I'm like, I never get tornadoes. I think we had, like, a high wind... Like warning where it was like a possible tornado, but I'm pretty sure it was like an F1. I think it like destroyed like a barn and that was it, really. Which sucks, of course, but you know what I mean? I don't think anybody died or anything. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy happened, luckily. Like some tree, maybe some trees fell over and shit, but no houses were destroyed. By the time the tornado had lifted, 29 people had tragically lost their lives. With 29? Life altering injuries and over 1,000 losing their homes. In Holy the span shit. of just 30 minutes, the invisible and unworn tornado carved a continuous 16-mile path of destruction as it traveled in a bizarre southeasterly Holy direction, fuck. causing over $375 million in damage and vanished without a trace, cementing its legacy as not only one of the strangest and mysterious tornadoes in U.S. history, but also the only F5 tornado to strike the United States in the month of August leaving behind both physical and emotional scars that would take years to oh heal. Oh my goodness! However, this is today and it's still not even healed? As the devastated communities began to pick up the pieces, one question lingered in the minds of the survivors. Mm. As soon as the Plainfield tornado had lifted, questions about why there had been no tornado warning quickly began to mount among the survivors. Is August a weird month? Amidst the For increasing tornadoes? public backlash, the National Weather Service would launch an internal investigation into its Chicago office to determine exactly what had gone wrong on the afternoon of August 28th. The investigation found that the critical failures that led to the Plainfield tornado striking without a tornado, was tornado season stemmed from the fact that the forecasters had failed to recognize the well-known signs that the storm tracking through northeastern Illinois that day was in fact a tornadic supercell, nor was- Wait, why do they fail though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. ...tornadic supercell backlash, the National Weather Service would launch an internal investigation into its Chicago it's office or June? to determine oh, exactly really? what had gone wrong on the afternoon of August 28th. The investigation found that the critical End of August failures too. that led to the Plainfield tornado striking without a tornado warning stemmed from the fact that the forecasters had failed to recognize the well-known signs that the storm tracking through northeastern Illinois that day was in fact a tornadic supercell nor was adequate preparation or infrastructure put in place for the office to receive reports of severe weather from either the public or trained weather spotters. On the day of the Plainfield tornado, none of the funnel cloud or tornado reports that occurred prior to the Plainfield F5 touching down ever made it to the National Weather Service office in Chicago. Never? Nor was the classic hook echo shape of the parent storm visible on radar recognized by the forecasters as the telltale sign that the storm was in fact what a long-lived tornadic supercell capable of immense destruction. And ultimately, the National Weather Service failed the people of Plainfield that day. Yet, from this terrible tragedy came enormous progress. In the 33 years that have passed since the Plainfield tornado... It was 33 years ago, never mind, I don't remember this shit. Maybe. Changed at the National we might have to service. add this shit to our light. In place of what was once a limited to range of tools, that was a good video. and communication has blossomed into a plethora of upgrades that let meteorologists peer inside mm. a thunderstorm. Okay, at least it turned into something good. I'm about to say, this might have been, a, it was such a depressing thing. Like, video. And, like, at least it turned to a good thing. But now, you guys remember the EF5 or EF5 tornado in Oklahoma? Nah, we can look that up, actually. After I look at Roy's video, we can check that one out. I don't know. That one, I, 
Chad, what is it? What's the difference between an F5 and an EF5? But the skies above. It's Roy saying that there's suddenly strong winds outside that you cursed me. There's leaves flying everywhere. In the ground below. <laughs> With yeah, the deployment of both down. an upgraded dual polarization Doppler Please. radar and the use of an extensive network of volunteer storm spotters through w. programs like Spotter Network. Okay, this is a good video. That was a great video. You remember the Joplin one where that kid flew out the sunroof? How do I end it? It's gonna be everlasting. It's gonna be my first 24 hour without me even being on the stream. Just let me end it. Chat, I have to go live on my phone and then end it there, bro. I have no idea how to do it. How? So this is why I don't do the restream anymore. This is why I don't do the restream anymore. This shit doesn't even work, bro. This shit doesn't even work. It doesn't. Dude, that's what literally what the issue was. It's because I was using the restream software. Chat, was this like the shortest video? Dude, holy shit. Guys, that's so dumb. Chat, can I go live here? It literally would not end, bro. It just, I was so dumb, dude. Oh my goodness. What is this video right here? Haiti, <sighs> boy, those tornadoes so terrifying yesterday. Amazing that no one was killed. I know, isn't it? There were 18 tornado reports, George. Six to 13 reported on the ground and two major tornadoes striking the area. And as you say, it is shocking that there were no deaths. Wait. Tw oh, 12 years ago. Do you remember the snog? Dallas, Texas. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. But the pictures are mind boggling. Look at these. Should have done a restream of 24 hours. So it could have continued. <laughs> no, bro. I should have restreamed it so the VOD always gets saved. But I got to upload it to my VOD channel, anyways. It's fine. They look like Tonka trucks being thrown through the air right there. And then they piled up. Bro's there a Yeet fan. Right there, right For sure, a Yeet fan. Twisters. They were just flying through the air and twirling. And entire neighborhoods were torn up. So whenever, like, Texas cities always get snow, like, I feel like it's always, it makes national news for some reason. Am I wrong? Every time. I remember it would be, like, Christmas time or, like, the day, like, days after Christmas, like, first days of January. We would, we would just be, there, like, my grandma, I'd go to my grandma's house, she'd put on the news, and it'd be, like, national news that, like, Dallas has, like, a snowstorm or some shit, when it's just, like, a couple inches. Like, it's the dumbest thing ever. <clears throat> like, literally, I'm like, dude, no way snow there makes national news. We have, uh, the roof ripped off Watch from Watch that high while you slept, like, really? Looks oh, what is that? With a flat screen TV. Holy shit, saved! He just has a free, dude, this is the easiest sunroof install I've ever seen. Still there, another home there, two by four, shooting through the walls like missiles. So much <laughs> Bro, imagine this was me and like, I'm just streaming this shit. Like, imagine this is my room and I'm just streaming, right? And my roof flies off. Like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, the room looks fine. It's probably just how messy it was before, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be, like it really, it, they probably just, it was like this already. I guarantee you. Like, this just looks like a normal messy room. It doesn't look like anything's flown over. Nothing's knocked over. The bed's still in place. Like, come on. He's still there. Another home there. Two by four shooting through the walls like missiles. So much of Holy the destruction shit. caught on tape as it happened around 1 p.m. Dallas and again, time. those were deadly Damn. weapons, but no one was killed. It's a nice We've house, though, guys. we coverage of the storm and its aftermath from our extreme weather team. Sam here tracking the latest in ABC's... ABC, ABC News. All right, see what this is. Most dangerous, overcast. The strongest tornado of all time? Bro, I don't know which one to watch. There's so many. Chad, which one do we watch? The largest tornado ever from birth to death. Shit, there's so many views, like millions of views. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. What's this one? We really got into a tornado segment. You said none? Don't watch any? How is bro alive? He's not alive. All you can do is just watch. Bro is silent too. He just tanks this shit. Did bro make it? I don't know. We gotta watch the Nick video, I guess. He's in a, it's in a Nick video. He'll probably explain it way better. All you can do is just watch it. That's so scary. That is so scary. What would you do? Probably start on my stream for the last time. <laughs> Probably. 
I, so tornado coming right at my house. Like I, I'd probably just spark up a stream. Maybe tell my mom I love her and start start up a stream or whatever. Just explain to you guys. It's gonna be over in like a minute or so. Shortest stream ever. This is it. The new title would be this is it. Literally, I'd have to change. I would have to change it. Skibidi dip dop dop yes yes skibidi dip me neem neem double. Okay, what are you saying? What's going on, Mahomes? Looking at little my homie. Uh, I would teleport and save you. Listen, yeah, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I would probably spark up the stream, change the title to This Is It, and then it would be over. Last stream. <sighs> what's the Nick video so we can watch this segment? We should watch this segment so we know what's what happened to this motherfucker. This is so scary. That looked a little Mahomey. Do we have a timestamp here? Damn. Is this heart racing or? Damn, you can hear it in his breath, bro. You have 5 million new followers. <laughs> if I live, I'd be able to enjoy it, but I don't know, man. Like, this seems crazy. It's literally the first one. Just watch the. No, we're not thing. watching it tonight, then. God damn it. Holy fuck. Dude, I, I, my, I, think, I think my throat would literally clog up and I would start choking it's up. Like, I want to be able to breathe. You don't even need to skip anything. Okay. I want to be able to breathe. What is that 699-yard tornado? Mid French Toast Muffins proof? Holy shit, the fucking roofing panels are flying off. Damn! I don't know if he made it, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I want to watch this anymore. Holy shit, uh... Is he okay? I don't know, man. This is a prime video example of the warning. Tornado is not moving to the left or right. It's heading right towards you. Dude, what the fuck? I know it was literally just in the same spot, bro. It was... Look at this, it's just getting bigger. This shit was just getting bigger. Don't maybe get spoiled in the maybe comments. a maybe a slight maybe a slight right. Maybe going to a slight right to be honest, but like still, nah, that shit is literally that's going right towards it's just getting bigger. Oh my goodness. His phone died probably. Nature gathering its forces. Alright, see let's see this por let's see this portion. Assault. On man. It sounds like it came right out of a zombie. Are the the Go below and stay below ground level. This reminds me of that one video of the tornado dudes going toward the tornado, tornado and dying. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one. I think that was also a Nick video. April 9th, 2015, a tornado begins to form during the evening hours in the small town of Franklin Grove, Illinois, quickly growing larger and larger by the minute to the point of reaching an unprecedented size for the area. Oh shit, they have different angles to this shit. There's a couple people recording this shit? Nah. Miles bro. away in the town of Fairdale, 67 year old Geraldine Schultz spotted the vortex forming in the distance. Worried, she called her husband Clem into the kitchen, where the two would stand watching the tornado out their window. For the couple, tornadoes were nothing new, and Clem was quickly able to determine that oh, the storm no. would this likely is bad. miss They're them elderly, to the east. Bro, but just to be safe, he went upstairs to grab some lanterns in the likely event of a power outage. 
Upon doing so, Clem would catch a glimpse of the tornado outside the bedroom window, having grown significantly closer. Its wind speeds were well over 200 miles an hour, and having been classified as and watch the people true because that makes you in such a shitty mood these videos sometimes team like honestly if i lived in a tornado state right and i'm like damn that's where my family is and i'm like old and have a little bit of money on my hands i'm probably getting like an apartment like somewhere else that's not a tornado state and like during the tornado season or some shit this is just i don't know if i, I don't know i could i don't think i could deal with power outages and shit all the time during this season and like and the risk of being like i don't know like a bunker no nah, not a bunker just like go to like a warm state you know what i mean I feel like I'll just get, like, a, an apartment, like, I don't know, maybe in, like, I don't know, like, Tennessee or some shit. They don't get tornadoes there, do they? As an EF-4, it was the largest twister the area had ever seen. They have, like, mountains and shit seen. there. It's awesome. In awe of its size, Clem began to record out but the window. I don't window. buy a home, but maybe your entire family lives there. I said if my family... Homes are all cheap there? I know, but, like, imagine if your entire family lives in the state. Like, you gotta live with... Like, you wanna be with your family, but, like, you're... Uh, shit, I'm moving out of there for, like, a vacation home or something. You know what I'm I mean? still certain that the storm was Was an earthquake east. near you? Uh, nah, not really. Not really. I didn't even feel it. But, we looked unfortunately, this up. Okay, he was wrong. And Wait, what? Hold on, I was missing it. Let me, let me lock in, let me lock in, let me lock in. Wait, apparently there was a, an earthquake magnitude. 5.2 earthquake? I said in a Buffalo suburb early this morning, 30, what was this? Chat, I didn't even hear this. Wait, where's Watertown? What the fuck is Watertown? Watertown and why? What is that? Where is that? Chat, where even is that? Where even is that? I mean, Takis, bro, Takis are so solid. Dude, that shit is pretty close to me. What the hell? Not really. Not really. This one wasn't that crazy. That one's not that big. That one's not. I couldn't even feel it. That's 2023. Guys, that was like, that's 2023. You're right. It's Lock 2023. My bad. I'll lock the freaking. My bad. People say there's a, an earthquake near me. I don't think so. I don't even think so. I feel like I would have felt it. But unfortunately, he was wrong. And in reality, the powerful storm was heading directly towards him. By the time Hold on, let me rewind. I'm sorry. Last time I'm rewinding. Look at the most devastating tornadoes. I don't know. I feel like this one's good, though. These videos are usually good. I feel like a lot of videos are just kind of ass when it comes to like this type of thing. But Nick knows what he's doing. But unfortunately, he was wrong. And in reality, the powerful storm was heading directly towards him. Damn. By the time Clem realized right, this, though. it was far too late. There was no time to run and not a chance to hide. All he could do was stand there helplessly the tsunami in Taiwan and watch. Do they not have basements? Do they not have basements? Are you supposed to sit in your fridge he or something like that? Aren't you supposed to sit in your fridge with a mattress over you? Like, why aren't they doing that? Aren't you supposed to be in, like, your refrigerator or something like that? Or, like, sit in... No, not your refrigerator. Usually bathroom. Yeah. Isn't it to be in your bathtub? Bathtub with the mattress over you. And if you don't have a bathtub for whatever reason, you just have, like, a, a shower. Like, it it's, it's a refrigerator, right? You clear out your refrigerator and just jump into that shit, right? I swear you do that. Not towards him. I swear you have to do the refrigerator if you have nothing else. I swear you have to do that. No? Honestly, bro, had some time to at least get away a little from the Nardo. Nah, he didn't. He did not have any time. No way. <laughs> There's no way. You have to understand, this thing is huge, guys. Yeah, a, a freezer. It has to be the freezer, bro. If you have a deep freezer, that shit's probably the best. Easily. Holy fuck. It was a direct hit as the EF4 tornado tore through the house before Clem could even say a word, quickly turning the home that had once stood there for 100 years to dust and rubble. And buried beneath it all was Clem, along with his wife of 25 years. Please tell me they made it.
Wait, no way. Against all odds, Clem would somehow Holy survive, shit. pulling himself up from the field of debris. This guy's not natural. It was a storm that would go on to destroy numerous homes and take the lives of two people, one of whom was Clem's neighbor and good friend Jacqueline Closa, who lived in the house that Clem had filmed being destroyed. Holy shit. No way. That is... I told you guys it was slightly off to the right. Yo, me and I appreciate the follow, man. What's good? Nothing much, brother. Just watching some videos. Um, it's right to the... Dude, no way. I told you guys it was slightly off to the right, the tornado. And this shit literally hit straight off to the right of his house. Royd, just moments before it struck him. No shot. Rest in peace, by the way. the other Geraldine, Clem's no. wife and best friend. Days following the disaster, a family member who had been searching the area for anything salvageable would stumble across Clem's phone, which miraculously was still working. And no! His wife died? That's so sad. That is so sad. What are you watching? YouTube's darkest videos. That's so sad. Oh my goodness, man. Imagine being that old and you lose, I don't know, man, like 60 years old. Like, dude, you're probably just retired, ready to go settle down here. You know what I'm saying? Damn. On it would be the now infamous video that showed the point of view of a man being struck head on by a tornado Made it out, but and what somehow cost? Yeah, surviving. True. The imagery, the sounds, and the context make this clip one of the most shocking I have ever They're not seen, even talking. as well silence. as one of the darkest across all of YouTube. The tornado has passed. Capricious, swift, savage. You fuck with underground rap? Uh, alternative. Usually like underground alternative. Underground alternative, I usually like, I don't really like drill all too much, like any underground drill or whatnot, but like alternative rap is pretty fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. There's some like, good underground rap. You know what I mean? There's some good underground rap. Like, I liked Redville when he was a little underground. I'm not gonna lie. His un his old shit was pretty good. His mixing was kind of ass. Trying to give me feedback on a song? Let's hear it, brother. Let's hear it. Okay, team. What's, what's next after this? Snuff.